Howdy. Let's talk about the Intel Arc A770. I don't know why I bought this. Wait, no, I, I do know why I bought this. Uh, I'm not really a gamer and I wanted a really, really good media engine and the AV1 encoding and decoding on this were top of my list. To get AV1 encoding out of NVIDIA, you gotta get, I think, the 4080, 4080 as a minimum, and that's um, way over $1,000 or something close to that. So I figured let's give this thing a shot. Maybe it sucks, maybe it doesn't, and uh, loaded the latest drivers up. If we look over here in my box, you can see it right over there, kind of uh, way off in the distance. Let's see. Just see the RGBs in there. Anyway, just to make that point. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, as um, <laughs> boxing is uh, unboxing and boxes are very important to Intel. This is a very nice box, as you can see. <clears throat> well thought out. It's got this little uh, USB RGB controller cable. I haven't plugged it in. And a Let's Play little thing in here. And uh, it's like the nicest box I've ever had in a video card. <laughs> okay. Cool. 400 monies, and uh, I consider that to be a reasonably good deal. So, a couple things that I noticed were, here's our controls, right? And uh, we have the Intel Graphics Command Center, so you can set like resolutions and things like that. But what you can't set in here is the bit depth of your monitor and whether it's like full or limited uh, color. Um, so that sucks, actually, because I'm using a 4K TV, and I do need to set that stuff. Then we got this weird arc control panel, which, God, it's a bloated mess, but you got, like, uh, game settings in here. You can specify things like, you know, processing, sharpening strength, uh, overrides, whatever, stuff like that. And then it's got recording, um, screen recording and all that other crap, and uh, a driver updater, but actually... Actually, that's about it for now. Um, so I just thought I would get Doom here. Let's see, where's our Doom? There. And uh, just get a frame per second readout. Okay, 100, something like that. This is 4K. Maybe like 80 to 100 4K Doom Vulcan. So that's decent enough to play the game if I ever wanted to do that for sure. Cool. And um, AV1, I'm encoding AV1 right now um, on this, on OBS. And so it's told me that we have, uh, let's see, a bit rate of about 1.2 kilobytes per second. And we're doing constant control or constant quality, I'm sorry, constant quality. And for this video, which is now, uh, let's see. Uh, I guess it doesn't give me a video time, but you know, a couple minutes. Uh, we're at uh, just over a gigabyte, 1.1 gigabytes uh, for this video, AV1 encoding in real time. Freaking killer, man, killer. Also, I can do uh, 8K AV1 videos on YouTube, 60 frames a second, and that's all hardware accelerated uh, on the decode. So, so far, so good. And I'll update things as I find them um, about this interesting card. Right on.